So in this example, we're going to go ahead and calculate the energy associated with an x-ray of wavelength lambda equals 0.2 nanometers. So anytime we're dealing with finding energies of photons of light with given wavelengths, we always have to use E equals HC over lambda. But now the interesting thing is that we actually have a shortcut for the value of HC, which is 1240 EV nanometers. And this is going to prove very useful in this sort of an example because we don't have to multiply this value of H with this value of C. So really, that whole thing is irrelevant to us this time around because we already used them. That's how 1240 EV nanometers was a thing in the first place. So we go ahead and plug in 1240 EV nanometers into the numerator of our fraction and we'll put 0.2 nanometers in the denominator since that's the wavelength that we're dealing with. So now you have nanometers on the top and the bottom of the fraction, so those will cancel each other out, leaving behind only the unit of electron volts, which is exactly what you want for energy. So just divide 1240 by 0.2 and you'll get 6200 electron volts. Now, another way of writing 6200 electron volts is to notice that this has an invisible decimal sitting right behind that last zero. And if you move it over one, two, three times, you'll get 6.2. But now you're multiplying by 10 to the power of three electron volts. And this is another way of saying kilo or a thousand, which is one of the common prefixes in the metric system. So this basically says that we have an answer of 6.2 kilo electron volts, which is a very common measurement of energy associated with x-rays.